Hi there, my name is Mr. Pete. I am a fourth grade teacher. I am reading Katie Camillo's The Tale of Despero, which is a story about how family is awesome. Except not this family. Just ignore this family. The Tillings aren't so awesome. I bet your family's awesome though. But just ignore this family. Make sure that your family is not like this family because the Tillings, perfidy. Despero is heading to the dungeon because of his family. Let's be honest here. Like, Despero is like what mice should be. And they cannot stand him because of it. So, we're going to start this chapter as Despero leaves his family into the dungeon, into the darkness, wondering what, how is he going to get out of this mess? We haven't met the rats yet. Are we going to meet the rats? Are there really rats down there? Or is there going to be some mice down there to save him? Will Princess P come and save the day? Let's find out. Chapter 14, Darkness. Despero lay on his back at the bottom of the steps and touched the bones in his body one by one. They were all there. And amazingly, they were unbroken. He got to his feet and became aware of a terrible, foul, extremely insulting smell. The dungeon reader stank. It stank of despair, highly vocabulary word, no hope, and suffering and hopelessness, which is to say that the dungeon smelled of rats. Clearly, the book is setting the rats up to be the bad guys. I could be wrong. And it was so dark. Despero had never before encountered darkness so awful, so all-encompassing. It's like City of Ember dark. All-encompassing, highlight that vocabulary word. All-encompassing means it surrounds you. The darkness, and here we are, darkness. Highlight darkness, both times it's here. We're com Again, this is the opposite of light. And we know how much Despero loves light. And now he's surrounded by the thing that's the opposite of what he loves. The darkness had a physical presence as if it were a being all its own. Highlight personification. The mouse held one small paw up in front of his whiskers. He could not see it. And he had the truly alarming thought that perhaps he, Despero Tilling, did not even exist. That's how dark it is like if the power would go out in the city of Ember. Oh my, he said out loud. His voice echoed in the smelly darkness. Perfidy, said Despero, just to hear his voice again, just to assure himself that he did exist. P, said Despero, and the name of his beloved was immediately swallowed up by the darkness. Highlight darkness, highlight that whole sentence. Personification. He shivered, he shook, he sneezed, his teeth chattered, he longed for his handkerchief. He grabbed hold of his tail. It took him a long, frightening moment to even locate his tail. So absolute was the darkness to have something, anything to hold on to. He considered fainting. He deemed it the only responsible response to the situation in which he found himself. But then he remembered the words of the Threadmaster, honor, courtesy, devotion, and bravery. I will be brave, thought Despero. I will try to be brave like a knight in shining armor. Simile comparing Despero to a knight in shining armor, or is it a simile? Is he a knight in shining armor? I will be brave for the Princess P. How best for him to be brave. He cleared his throat. He let go of his tail. He stood up straighter. Once upon a time, he said out loud to the darkness, he said these words because they were the best, the most powerful words that he knew, and just the saying of them comforted him. Once upon a time, he said again, feeling a tiny bit braver, there was a knight, and he wore always an armor of shining silver. Once upon a time, boomed a voice from the darkness, a knight in shining armor. What does a mouse know of such things? 
That voice, the loudest voice that Despero had ever heard, could only, he assumed, belong to the world's largest rat. Despero's small, overworked heart stopped beating. And for the second time that day, the mouse fainted. Suspense. Have we met our first rat? Chapter 15, light? Hmm, that seems weird. Despero is trying to hold it together. He is in a dark place and he's not alone. There's somebody else with him. We shall find out who that is. Well, until then, click like, click subscribe and leave a comment. Join us in this wonderful conversation. Let's get this awesome community that we're building together to a thousand. It would be so much fun having that many people reading every book with us together and analyzing these books and buying these books for these awesome authors. Please, please, please join us in this awesome, awesome discussion about these awesome, awesome books. Katie Camillo is amazing. So let's help her out, help me out, help us all out, get to know these books. Thank you so much. Let's find out who that strange British voice is on the other end of the, well, dungeon. Dungeon? Dungeon! <laughs> Adieu. I'll see you on the next page. Peace.